Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today I'm going to show you guys the 10 easiest brawlers to get easy trophies with. That being said, let's hop into it and let's get this started. So the first brawler we're going to go with is Mega. Now this is in no order. So any brawler on this list, if you guys have or you guys can unlock, I would highly recommend unlocking them as they're just super easy to push. So number one for me is going to be Meg. Uh, Meg's just a super easy brawler to push, especially on dueling beetles, ring of fire, any hot zone map really. It's just super broken, just so easy to hold control. If you guys are close to max or can be max, I would definitely recommend getting the healing gadget, the one that heals you when you're in your mech, and then the shield star power as it just gives you so much more HP once you pop out of the mech form. But yeah, it's just a super easy brawler to push. You guys can see it's so hard for them to take you out of mech when you actually have it, which just gives you such easy zone time. And then if you're not in the big form, you're in the little form with 4K HP plus a shield around you. I mean, it's just basically impossible to kill you. So that is going to be the first brawler on our list. Very easy to push. It took me like half a day to get to rank 35, which is like nothing. It went like no losses. Didn't really have the best teammates either. So again, highly recommend it. Uh, let's move on to the next brawler. The next brawler we have for you guys is Carl. Now, Carl is really, really good as well. It's just so good at every mode. It's good into like half the brawlers in the game. And when I mean good into them, I mean like nothing they can do about it type of thing. Um, the super is really good. The star power is really good. The every, just everything about Carl is really good. It's really well rounded. You can play it on a lot of different modes. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting Carl and getting it as high trophies, high level as possible. And a lot of you guys have Carl. It's not a brawler that's that hard to get. You know, Meg is a legendary, but Carl, you know, he's pretty common to get. So if you guys can get Carl, definitely would recommend getting him as high level as you can, as he is just really good and really easy to play. Unlimited shots. It's pretty good if it's not maxed out. So again, just really awesome. Let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going. The next brawler we have for you guys is Ash. Now, Ash is probably, I don't know, the biggest carry brawler in the game. But right now, it's just so easy to push. You know, even things that counter it, such as Shelly, um, aren't really, you know, too good into it. Because once you get the rats, you kind of just throw the rats on top of the Shelly. And then what can a Shelly really do? You get full rage. You block some shots, and then you ha you do like 2.8k a shot. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Um, but Ash is good even without star powers or gadgets. Now, obviously, star powers and gadgets make every brawler way better. But, but even without it, again, just like Carl, it's still really easy to use this brawler and be good with it. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just super good. It's really easy to use. It's definitely a lot better in some modes such as Brawl Ball or Gem Grab than it is in other modes. But regardless of that, I mean, Brawl Ball is out all day. You can always just play it in Brawl Ball. It's really easy. And like you guys can see right now, like the Shelly can't do anything to me because I throw the rats in the face. I have full rage and it's just way too easy to win with this brawler i don't know they gotta nerf it somehow i don't know exactly how but they definitely have to nerf it somehow but yeah that's uh the third brawler let's move on to the next ones look how good toast is man what a inspiration let's move on to the next ones and let's keep it going coming in next we have gene and i mean i don't know what i'm gonna say about gene it's good everywhere it's good into basically everything the pull is game changing that's i don't know i don't have to talk too much about gene gene has been meta since when it came in the game it maybe had like three months or four months where you couldn't really play it but that's a about it um don't look at that pull it's i don't know it's super good i don't really know what to say about it it's good everywhere again it's one of those brawlers that you don't need max or even close to max for it to be effective i uh, would highly recommend getting it if it's a brawler you don't have i don't know it's just super easy to play really awesome doesn't require much aim I, I don't really know what else to say about it let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going i think this is number five but the next one that we have is max i mean max kind of same as gene it's just really good everywhere you match it with tanks you give them the speed you run in a straight line you have three gadgets that make you invincible so if someone's trying to gene pull you tara pull hit you with the last piper shot anything you just use that gadget you get out of the way it's very good the speed is broken because you give it to other brawlers and then they just run into the opponent's faces and kill them. I don't know. It's just a really good brawler. Probably the most used brawler in all of competitive. And there's nothing really challenging with it. You aim. You shoot. I don't know. There, like, there's not really too much to it. It's a really easy brawler. Just like Gene. Not much to explain. You guys all know what Max is. So let's move on to the next ones. And these ones are kind of the ones that maybe you won't expect. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what we got. Okay, so this one you guys might actually expect. I take that back. But next up we have... 
crow and crow again like max like gene you just play it anywhere it's good into everything besides long range so you kind of want to avoid playing it on like a bounty where you're going to be facing pipers and brocks and stuff like that because it's just really really nice play by that buzz by the way it's just really not so great into that because you can get like two tap three tapped whatever it may be by those brawlers um but i mean everything else like tanks they can't reach you you make them do far less damage you can slow them mid-range brawlers again it's really easy i don't know this is like the best brawler in the game i think um in terms of like how good it's been the longevity what it's good into i think this is just the best brawler in the game beside gene i think it's never really gonna fall out of meta and if you want a legendary brawler i know spike is really appealing i know everyone loves spike but crow is the best brawler i think you can get for that uh amount of whatever it's called that it takes to unlock it so yeah that's gonna be our next one Let's keep on going. So coming up next, we have Gray. Now, Gray is a little bit different than the brawlers that we just showed you, specifically the last three. It's a little bit harder to play, but in terms of pushing trophies, it's really easy. Now, I do think that they're going to nerf the teleport soon because the teleport is like, it's just actually broken. This should never have been introduced in the game. The fact that you can actually just instantly teleport right on somebody's head is pretty one of the most ridiculous things i think supercell has ever added to the game now they get creative and i like the fact that they get creative and add new things i, I never want to stop them from doing that but i don't want those things to be broken and being able to do that is just broken it is not fair uh and there's nothing you can do about it um so yeah gray's really good in that sense where if you're able to just get your super and work with your teammates uh which might be difficult with randoms i know i understand uh, it's very easy to push because you can mess up a thousand times you just get one super you super onto one guy's head and you win the game uh, with that being said I expect the ner uh, nerf to happen in gray shortly um, Supercell hasn't really said anything regarding nerfs or anything like that uh, but I don't think this is gonna last in the game very often I think they're gonna or very long I think they're gonna find a way to nerf the teleport without completely taking it away so if you have the brawler right now definitely push it now grab a tank or something and try pushing it with tanks uh but if you don't i don't know if it would be something i would purchase or spend anything on or i guess you get it for free everyone has it i don't know i guess everyone just push it now then because it is not going to be good soon uh let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going coming up next this one's really obvious we have penny i mean penny is penny i don't know it's just kind of good into everything right now uh one of the strongest mid-range brawlers in the game um i don't i don't really know i can't believe tyrant stunned me there i don't really know what to say um it's just it's really good it has a turret and it has a barrel so outside of the fact that it has decent damage decent hp basically has average stats for everything you have something that can body block tyrant you have to stop stunning me you have something that you can body block with in the barrel and then you have the turret which is just again something to body block with if you want or you can just throw it down and have it do a lot i know this isn't really the best gameplay about penny but i feel like you guys have seen penny many times i don't really have to explain penny to you guys but yeah i don't know really good really broken can play it anywhere if you have penny level it up because this is a super easy brawler to push up really high so let's move on to the next one and let's keep going so the second last brawler we have for you guys is b now b is just goofy i hate this brawler this thing needs a nerf basically b is just a brawler that has an infinite amount of shots does an infinite amount of damage because you do like 4k with the big shot when you have damage gear which is just absurd um like look this gene actually just disappears that was kind of a funny interaction but the gene just disappears the spike disappears it's crazy and you also have basically the most range in the game so it's just not cool uh it's like stupid good uh i really hope they nerf it i don't think they're gonna nerf it but this is just a brawler that's super easy to push bounty gem grab brawl ball um even hot zone it's really broken like just such a good brawler i don't know i would highly recommend playing it it's really really good let's move on to the last one little bit of a shout out i guess to grom since i didn't put grom in this uh because i don't know it's grom i didn't really feel like putting it in it grom is really good if you guys have grom push it now it's broken right now they're probably going to nerf it soon again uh but let's move on to our last one which i saved this one for last it's definitely the best one right now and one that's probably going to get nerfed the fastest and i saved it for the people who stay until the end of the video so kind of a not an easter egg but a little thank you for staying 
as long as you guys did. So let's hop into the last one. And let's show you guys what it is. Coming in last, the final brawl. Well, not coming in last, but the final brawler we have for you guys is Sam. I want it to be known that I was the first person who said Sam was good. Okay, I just want that. I just want everyone to know I was the first one to say Sam was good. And I would have said it earlier if I wasn't on vacation. So I did get roasted for my last top 10. But now, oh, all of a sudden, everyone's saying the brawlers I said were right. Trust me when I say this stuff, guys. Trust me. I play the game. I scrim every single day. I know what's good and what's not good. Um, Sam is broken. They're definitely going to nerf it soon. Because, I mean, everything about Sam is just, it's just too good. The fact that you have fast speed, which makes you hard to hit. And then you're constantly regening HP and getting HP just makes you way too difficult to take out. And even just taking you out takes gadgets, takes supers, takes two people, takes time. It's just too hard to take it out and your other brawlers are just going to be able to get stuff done. So with that being said, those are the 10 easiest brawlers to push high trophies, push trophies, whatever you want to call it in the game right now. If you guys are pushing this season, would highly recommend pushing those 10 as high as you guys can. But... That's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. I will be back again soon. See you guys then. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well, I have good news. You can be all of that and more by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.